Hey guys, it's Jordan. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very, very informative yet like hopefully helpful video to you guys going into college or going into your freshman year of college or whatever track you're on, honestly. Today I'm going to be basically telling you guys all of my freshman year of college classes that I took as a biology major on the pre-med track. So my goal eventually for my career in life is to become a doctor of some kind or ultimately to go to medical school. So I got a lot of support and help to help me figure out what classes to take freshman year. Before entering college, I was very lost and I had no idea what to do. I just wanted to be that helpful guide. If this helps at all, let me know down below and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I have my computer right here and I'm gonna be reading off all my classes because they're on my computer. But I do wanna preface with the fact that all colleges don't offer the same classes. So for an example, I go to the College of Charleston. I It probably isn't the same classes at Charleston as there are other colleges in South Carolina or other colleges around everywhere. All colleges also have different prereq requirements. So much like high school, you need to get a basic amount of credits for courses completed in order to graduate from that college that you're going to, regardless if it coincides with your major or not. Most of the time, a lot of the prereqs don't coincide or coexist with my major. So it does seem exhausting, especially when you want to like learn more about your major. You guys have to like spend lots of your time and money on these prereqs, but unfortunately we don't have a choice. So for my freshman year of college, I definitely had a combination of some prereqs required and also I was lucky enough to take some introductory courses of classes that go with my major as a biology major. I am in the Honors College at Charleston, so I am super, super, super lucky. I get to do early registration, and so that means I don't have to register with the entire college like everyone else does. I get to register with just the Honors College before it's open to the rest of the college, which is super nice, and if you are able to get into an Honors College or have the chance to apply, I 100% recommend it. It does require several other um, requirements and a lot more work but that being said pros and cons to every situation I really love the Honors College for my first year it was so helpful and I got to be in a lot of the classes that I wanted to be in so as a biology major we all have different goals I personally like I said want to go to medical school so a lot of these science classes I want to get out of the way early on to take the MCAT and all that kind of stuff but if you want to go to other paths such as like dental school become a biologist marine biology go to grad school when I become a professor it really you'll see the requirements you need in your school portal if that makes any sense so for the College of Charleston and for most colleges I feel in South Carolina the max number of credit hours that you are able to have every semester is 18 and you can go over that amount if you have to sign like a not a waiver but essentially that like a contract saying like I'm aware of this blah 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 um I haven't gone over 18 yet I might in my future if I decide to double major do a couple minors whatever um 18 is just the max and then I believe it's either 12 or 13 is the minimum to be considered a full-time student so for my first semester of college classes the first class that I took was an honors accelerated chemistry class which was a combination of chemistry one and chemistry two together now I just just like to say I did not know that this was an accelerated course when I signed up for it I literally thought it was like just like chemistry one maybe chem no I thought it was just chemistry one so it was definitely a lot going into it I was very like nervous and I didn't realize it was this much work but I was like already so far along in the semester when I found out it was both classes combined I was like I'm not gonna withdraw now so I stuck with it it was definitely challenging definitely difficult but it was really nice because as a biology major wanting to go pre-med track you have to take chemistry one chemistry two organic chemistry and organic chemistry two I believe and so it just kind of gave me that like one up like head start it just set me up very well this is only an honors college class but it's really good. If you can't get an accelerated chemistry class, I would do recommend chemistry one as a freshman first semester, maybe chemistry two next semester because you need to get those chemistries out of the way and people often say that chemistries are like the hardest ones, hardest classes and I'd like to say I'd agree but I haven't taken all the classes yet so so far, chemistry has been the most challenging subject in my class load. And then with that class, that chemistry class, 
if you take a science, you also probably are going to take a lab most likely. So I took the honors accelerated chemistry lab as well. And I often do find labs are a lot less, like it's a lot more work I feel like in lab in terms of like schoolwork, lab reports, busy work, you know, you have homework. It's just a lot of work, but it honestly feels a little bit easier than just like the regular class. It's easier material. It's not as um, high stakes, I feel like. Okay, the third class I took is it a freshman class that you take in Charleston. We call them FYEs. It's a freshman class you have to take it so I took the honors version of it but if you're a freshman at Charleston you'll take your own FYE and it'll get randomly assigned and they're actually pretty fun classes like one of my friends got in the FYE called walking with nature or something like that and so it's just like kind of these random classes that help get you kick-started in college and then also for the honors college we had to take honors engaged which is another um, honors course and that one was really helpful it focused a lot on talking about like community issues and it was honestly really informative but yeah those are just busy courses that you have to get out of the way and that don't really go with my major another class I took my first semester bio 111 which is like the basic bio class if you're not a biology major you'll probably take bio uh, 101 at Charleston at least if you're non bio major they make it easier because it's not your major. I really loved it. It was very interesting. And then I took that lab with it as well. Then I took intro to psychology, which is required at, as a biology major and intro to women and gender studies, which is one of my prereq classes for like Charleston. And I took that class online. And if you're able to take a class online, that's easier. I definitely recommend it because it saved so much time. It was very like low stakes. Wasn't super difficult as long as you just kept up. And I definitely recommend it. So that was my first semester classes sorry if that was a little confusing or misleading obviously some of a lot of them were honors so they're trying to get us like kick-started into this honors program but those classes are very necessary and I definitely recommend them so for second semester for Charleston you need to take a language and I began at the second semester I just took Spanish I took the most basic Spanish because I didn't take it in high school if you took it in high school you'll probably be in a higher level I took Spanish 101 online definitely recommend it online it was super nice and did not require a lot of time at all the next class I took the next biology so this one's called bio 112 at Charleston but it's really bio is evolution and form and function so that was very interesting we talked a lot about evolution animals and plants some of it had to do with like the medical field and animals and some plants too but I definitely enjoyed cell and molecular biology better personally and then I took that lab to go with it and both courses are required in order to complete a, a bio major and also for the MCAT if you're interested in taking the MCAT those two courses will be on the MCAT the next class I took is academic academic writing I took the honors version but there is a non honors version and you have to take academic writing for Charleston honestly it was probably one of my favorite classes that I've taken my teacher was wonderful and it was super super interesting then I took my other um, honors engaged too which is just wrapping up the freshman year requirements for the honors college and then I led on to organic chemistry honors organic chemistry and honors organic chemistry lab which was definitely a difficult time during like your freshman year of college taking an honors organic chemistry class organic chemistry always seems like the hardest one but you're gonna have to get it done either way and I've learned I've heard from several professors is if you do not so great it's okay as long as you show improvement throughout the next three years it's gonna show people that you have improved and tried your best but honestly I'm glad I got that out of the way and the next semester I'm supposed to be taking organic chemistry too my first semester I actually took 17 credit hours and my second semester I took 16 and I would say my second semester was probably more difficult even though I took one less credit hour just because I was getting tired and organic chemistry took a lot of my time up. I definitely recommend getting any of those classes that you can. Like I said I, before, I was very lucky to get that many science classes my freshman year because that's kind of difficult to do. I heard if you're not in the honors college, but if you're not, I don't. I wouldn't worry either because although there are a lot of like science-y courses, usually the most basic intro level courses are the biggest classes, which is beneficial because you, you can get a lot of people in those classes like bio 101 or bio 111 or chemistry one or chemistry two that kind of stuff anyways guys that was a lot of talking and i really hope this helped some kind of way to you and if you guys have any questions at all please comment them down below and i'll be more than happy to help you if it's about charleston or if it's about any college or any college question related i'm literally new to this probably just as most of you are and i'm just as lost trust you're not alone i feel like i got a good grasp on freshman year and i feel very lucky and fortunate and i want to help all y'all 
as much as I can because I know I felt really lost at first. So just comment down below. I'm gonna make another video explaining like college tips and tricks as a freshman and all that kind of stuff, advice really. This was just to show you guys the breakdown of my class load and to get more in detail about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. I love y'all. Bye.